Let's talk about your movie, The Only Living Boy in New York. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. It's good, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I love it, but I, 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 you, I read somewhere you said, like, you try, you try hard to not do movies. Yeah. And when it, because when a good script comes, you go, I got to do this one. It's like that, what is that, that uh, what, what Godfather, what, you know, Pacino says, I try to get out, and then they, you know, <laughs> they keep yeah. pulling me yeah, back yeah. in. When yeah, it's yeah. too cool, you know, when the script is, the story is too great, or, you know, the, the uh, cast too is too great. This one's got a wonderful cast. Oh, fantastic cast, and it's great. great. You play a, a mentor. Uh, to to a young boy, I don't want to give yeah. away too much about the film. Yeah, but you should check it out. It's great. Yeah, Callum uh, Callum Turner. I think we're going to be hearing a lot from yeah. this guy. Where, he's really something. I don't, I don't know him. I, yeah, he's terrific. The... He's really really great. Who are your mentors in, in your real life? Uh, well, I've had quite a few. <clears throat> I'm thinking my one of the early one was Burgess Meredith. Really. Yeah, you know, the penguin from Batman. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course. I've met his many roles. He's Mickey you know, from yeah. Rocky. There yeah. you go, yeah. yeah. Grumpy old man or uh, grumpy old man. Oh, yeah. man, he's you know, a wonderful man. guy. How did you and, meet Burgess Man? This is back in the late 60s, maybe my second film, called The Yin and Yang of Mr. Go. Really? And we shot it in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, James Mason played a Chinese Mexican in it. It's a stress there, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah and we had a wonderful the... time. And then after that, he turned me on to another mentor. Uh, do you know who John Lilly is? No. Do I? He is the man who invented the isolation tank. Oh, I know this. Yeah. Wait, this is the tank of yeah, water? Yeah, they made a movie. What was the name of the movie with William Hurt? It was loosely based on this guy's uh, what, life. What's an isolation tank? This is like... It's... A, it's, a... It, it, it's um, uh, sensory deprivation is another uh, term for it, where they try to uh, yes, yes, see yes. what happens if you don't have any input coming in. You know, you're in a you're in a, like a big coffin kind of thing. It, you're, the water is filled up about here. You've got a thousand pounds of salt in it, so you float. Yeah, and uh, it's ninety-eight point six, so you don't even know you're there. So basically, like you're your floating. ears are underwater. It's dark, and what happens? What, do you, what goes on? You what know? does happen? All kinds of stuff, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> all kinds of stuff that, uh, you know, you're not really aware of how much is really happening inside, how much you're projecting on everything that's going on until there's nothing going on. Then you realize it's all coming from inside, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel yeah, really, I mean, this yeah, is it. I just, yeah. yeah. We all just got a lesson. That a lesson from the dude right there. Yeah, man. So wait, so John Lilly? So John Lilly, uh, and this is going to, before anything, I knew anything about it, the first thing he, he said is you get out three times. Oh, really? Just so you, you program that you can get out, that you're not, you know, prisoner, because when you're anxious, um, you get scared, right? You, you know, you're, you're anxious, so you're getting in this thing and you're kind of scared, and in my mind, I'm thinking, this guy, John Lilly, he looked a little weird. He was in a, a, <laughs> this jumpsuit, and uh, yeah, like, did, he have, did he have breasts? <laughs> Is this solution going to give me breasts? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she said, no, just settle down, man. That's your mind, man. Just quiet, you know. This is crazy. But what if he did? What if he locked the thing? No, yeah, exactly. All that stuff that goes through your out. mind. Yeah. That goes through your mind. You gotta really trust this and guy. And so you, you, you know, that happens all the time. Don't you, you know? See, that's the thing. We tell ourselves these little stories, man, and yeah. we get, you know, you get on a sidetrack and you just you get it. yourself in trouble. You see, know. this is a, it's a life lesson. Yeah, this is a that, life lesson right here. Yeah. Do, well, I hear you're a meditator, right? I'm getting Some, into it. You're getting into yeah, it. I'm, you're I'm, digging I'm, it. I'm baby step. I'm like yeah, my, yeah. Uh, dipping my toe in the immersion tank. Yeah. No, I, I've never you, done that tank, but I will. Yeah, well, that's really interesting. Another mentor, I, speaking of meditation, was this guy, Bernie Glassman. He's a famous uh, Zen master, wonderful guy. And I was sitting in a dinner between uh, him and Ram Das, you know, the guy, be here now. Yeah. Okay? And Bernie leans over to me and he says, you realize in many Buddhist circles, the dude is considered a Zen master. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about, man? We never talked any spiritual thing, you know? He says, oh yeah. You, you know what a koan is? A Zen koan, you've heard of that? You know, it's like, what is the sound of one hand clapping? At yes, the... a koan. And he says, look who, who wrote The Big Lebowski. 
the Cohen brothers. <laughs> yeah. and he says, he says, Close he says Lebowski's filled with koans. I'm going to bring these Buddhist ideas into into you know, modern times. He, I said, well, give me an example. He says, the Duda bites. Koan, come on, it's a koan. <laughs> or can you, you can't swear here. The big mayor, what? No, yeah, don't yeah, don't, yeah, don't do it. No, believe you. Yeah, do yeah. It. Shut yeah. the up, Donnie. <laughs> That's 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 a koan. That's a koan. Yeah, man. Yeah. As you get into this thing, you'll see. You know? Yeah, it's a or, or my favorite was, uh, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> see. I love that. Huh? That is a good one. Yeah, that's, that's just good like one. your opinion, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.